Hi, my name is Tina from the Global Eco Business Unit of SK Eco Plant. Lately, we are experiencing a devastating intensification of extreme weather all around the world resulting from climate change. Glaciers in the Arctic and permafrost in the Alps are melting away and halfway across the planet, the South Pacific Islands are facing the threat of disappearing due to rising sea levels. In fact, seeing the exhibits of various countries at the Wave Pavilion, it's clear that the world is now deeply concerned about climate change and is actively fighting the crisis. The former Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources of Saudi Arabia, Ahmed Zaki Amani, once said, the Stone Age didn't end for lack of stone, and the Oil Age will end long before the world runs out of oil, suggesting that the era of oil dominance will end for reasons beyond oil scarcity. I feel like his words are now becoming reality, particularly given that power generation contributes a substantial 35% of global carbon emissions, I believe it's crucial to focus on developing eco-friendly energy sources to accelerate carbon neutrality. Hydrogen is the eco-friendly energy source that is currently attracting the most attention as an alternative to fossil fuels. Particularly, green hydrogen is produced without carbon emissions by decomposing water using renewable energy such as solar power and wind power. We have high hopes that it could be an energy source that brings the fossil fuel era to an end. Until not long ago, it was expected that it wouldn't be until 2030, at the earliest, that green hydrogen would become economically viable. However, SK Ecoplan recently began a project to commercialize green hydrogen on a large scale by 2025, which is five years earlier than expected. We are participating in Canada's first large-scale green hydrogen commercialization project, New Geohonic which produces approximately 60,000 tons of green hydrogen annually through wind power and transports them to other continents such as Europe. SK Ecoplan is participating as a key player in all stages of this project, from the design, supply, and installation of SOEC water electrolyzers and the construction of a green ammonia plant that will be the carrier of green hydrogen. The reason why SK Ecoplan was able to participate in such a project that's meaningful on a global scale was because we have completed a comprehensive portfolio capable of all the technologies related to the supply chain of green hydrogen. From solar and wind power projects to green hydrogen production and distribution and even application utilizing fuel cells. With SK Ecoplan's green hydrogen value chain, we plan to further solidify our position as a global green hydrogen provider that leads the global energy industry and contributes to fighting climate change in the upcoming green hydrogen era. Besides SK Ecoplan, there are numerous renewable energy companies actively operating in various sectors in Korea. We all believe that it is a crucial social responsibility for companies to address human and global challenges with their technological capabilities. Korean companies are eager and fully prepared to contribute to the global community with our advanced technologies and expertise. I believe that the 2030 Busan Expo will be an essential collaboration platform for this purpose. We are looking forward to the many inspiring ideas to be shared through the WAVE platform. SK Ecoplan is ready, Busan is ready!